It's been 10 years since the last real Fire Pro Wrestling game was released, and here we are that decade later, Fire Pro Wrestling World graces and video game screens once again. I, I'm so glad that this, this brand has finally come back. But your question probably is going to be, who, uh, what is Fire Pro Wrestling? Does it sound like a company or promotion I haven't heard of? Is The Undertaker going to be there? Is Sting going to be there? Seth Rollins? Is there going to be a super kick party? Well, the answer to that question is yes and no. I love the badass music of this game as well. It's so cool. So, Fire Pro Wrestling finds itself sat in a kind of a unique position, I'd say, before we go through these options here. Um, it's a niche within a niche within a niche. And I got it down to five, effectively. It's a, it's a video game. It's a wrestling game. It's a good game. It's a technical game. And it's 2D. What? That's like five niches. You really do have a very corner of the market there. But Fire Pro Wrestling has that in a band and a truly dedicated fan audience. Um, that has loved and supported this game for, for as long as they've been coming out. I think the first one came out in 1989. I came across Fire Pro uh, when it came out on the Dreamcast, Fire Pro Wrestling D, um, and it took up four of my memory cards, my VMUs, uh, the amount of wrestlers and DLC moves that I had uh, back in the day, uh, 2001 in fact, uh, was huge. And then I got hold of uh, Fire Pro Wrestling Returns when it was released. Now I live in the UK, it was never released here, although the company that translated it from Japanese to English and American and Italian is based here, that company 505 Games, um, never released the game in the UK despite a huge wrestling audience at that time. So in 2007, you know, TNA was at a high, WWE was still finding its feet again with its new audience and its new PG rating. Um, but wrestling in this country is something special. But so what is it? What is Fire Pro Wrestling? Why is it should be special to you? I'm about to tell you. So cue the montage. So for the main menu, obviously we've got some straightforward, clear elements with the rock music going on in the background. Offline, online play, seems straightforward you might think, well there's a lot of options are found within them, which we're going to go and have a look at in just a moment. The coup de grace of the fanboys' love of Fire Pro actually sits well within the edit mode, and thankfully this one's well organised compared to what it was in Fire Pro Wrestling Returns. And it's just short, it's sharp, and it's sweet. We have a wrestler edit, referee edit, team edit, for those who want a bit of faction fun. We have a ring edit, a belt edit, and of course, Steam Workshop. That's right, this game supports Steam Workshop. And when I checked it yesterday, there literally was like, I think it was like 92 pages. There was like 3,000 odd uh, options to characters to, to download that have been highly created by a dedicated fan base who loves wrestling and loves characters out there. A lot of fun ones of stuff like Donald Trump and guys dressed as pandas and some silly dog heads. Uh, but then, of course, you've got the uh, fans of like, Ring of Honor, um, TNA, and, and GFW, as well as like Noah, Lucha Underground, WWE, which I'm a big fan of as well. So I've downloaded quite a lot of guys and talent from there, as well as creating my own. Change moves name. Really good, because of course, a lot of characters, a lot of companies, choose to call the same move for something different. So if you can have your own preference in there, for any move in the game, that even goes from a single punch, right up to something like the Crossroads, or the roll on the dice or whatever, you can call it whatever you like. So we are going to go explore the options, of course, because we want to know what's going on behind the scenes before we start playing the game, sound-wise. Now, we have... I had to turn the games of volume background music down to 5. Because it's pretty loud. By default, it's on 85. So I've had to turn that down quite a bit in order to record this video. I, I, it's really good. The heavy guitar in the background, it's pretty sweet. Uh, in a match-wise, I, I, I turn it down because I think there's uh, three different background musics to the matches, which kind of play in the background, so there's no commentary as such, uh, but the music is really good heavy guitar. Uh, so we're going to put that at about 10, actually, just so it's not too loud for uh, us talking over when we're having to play in just a moment. Controller vibration. I'm using an Xbox 360 controller with an Xbox One controller. I also use a Sega Saturn controller, too, that uh, is USB adapted. So you're playing the PC. Of course, it actually supports all these configurations, which is great. I also, by that uh, thought, believe it supports the DualShock 4 as well. Our controller layout is really quite smart too. Um, 
obviously it supports the default controller. Uh, default, sorry, it supports the Xbox and Xbox One as its default default controller. But then, of course, it's a great game. It's a great name. It's been 10 years in development, and yet they make a typo in the menu. That's right, keyboard, keyboard settings are on there. Quite why you'd want to play with a keyboard, I've got no idea. It's uh, I have tried. It's very clunky, very annoying. Don't do it. Play with the pattern instead. Credits, of course, speak for themselves. Language, of course, if you are a Japanese-speaking fanboy, uh, you can get in there as well. And V-Sync, of course, because you want it. Potentially, you might even want it to connect to the same refresh rate as your monitor. So, a really great options in there. Keyboard settings. Keyboard. Anyway, so, return to title, we don't want to do that. So, let's have a quick look in edit mode. So, ref well, wrestler edit. So, you can make a wrestler from scratch. Um, it can take time, or it really can take some time, because there's so many options that you can tweak and customise. A workshop we're going to have a look at in just a sec. So, if you want to make a belt, you really can. You can create a belt from scratch, so you can make it look like any of the title belts, any of the professional wrestlers wear from any of the major companies, or create something completely uniquely your own, as well as rings as well. Now, as I saw... The uh, ring edit kind of, well, there was like a a paint shop effectively within uh, Fire Pro Wrestling Returns. There's not one in here, so it's not sure you can create a ring. You can create a ring, uh, but ring design um, it's basically just your turnbuckles, your ring colors, posts, matte color, which kind of puts it in a default flat color. Like I created the NXT arena and I made the the matte black to obviously reflect that. But it looks really kind of poor because it's just one straight flat colour. It's not great. Uh, looking forward to when I can actually put um, textures and pictures that I can download like JPEGs or uh, PNGs from my PC obviously onto the ring mats because that uh, that's pretty cool when you do that. That option is not there as yet. So I said I've made some rings of uh, 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 the popular promotions as it were. Uh, New Japan, Ring of Honor, NXT, SmackDown and Raw um, using their actual uh, backers. But like I said, they look kind of flat, look kind of basic right now. So, as new features are added, hopefully they'll be able to expand on that. Team Edit, again, if, if you're a bit faction fun, if you want to make like the Ministry of Darkness, like W's faction back like year 2000 and so on, you, you can do. Uh, referee Edit, uh, Wrestler Edit. Now, I've only created the one wrestler so far, but I have downloaded uh, a fair few. That's how I literally created um, Cody Rhodes, as you can see from it. So let's get into offline and online play. Let's uh, let's see what this game looks like. Let's see what this game is uh, in fun. So we have exhibition, tournament, league, battle royal, uh, view title, mission mode. Mission mode is a series of set challenges uh, against AI. It's probably a lot of fun. Uh, battle royal effectively is a multi-man match. So uh, you can have like over the top rope, uh, Royal Rumble style. Do you be the first one to win? Is there going to be a time limit? Uh, that's up to you. A league, of course. No, what, what you, what's all those in mesh? Options you see there. Well, I'll tell you about them in just a second. The league effectively is a football league. Of course, you'd have a number of series of matches, and then obviously you can see uh, who wins in the end based on a, uh, a league system. Tournament being a knockout style bracket and exhibition. Exhibition is where we're going to look at here. So, as well as offering a uh, normal match, general one on one or four on four, uh, cage death match, barbed wire death match, landmine death match. So if you're a fan of FMW, CZW, or of course the legendary ECW, uh, you're going to be well uh, in for some options on there, as you can see. SWA rules is a bit like an Iron Man match, effectively. Where you have to knock the guy down, and uh, he then basically has to answer like a 10 count to get up. A bit like boxing rules, okay. But it's a lot of fun. That's the kind of the game's uh, rule set. I quite like the fact that SWA is the spike uh, wrestling alliance but created especially for the game has its own rules. actually quite like that because it offers uh, something unique compared to most fighting games. And Gruesome Fighting. Gruesome Fighting is uh, is really interesting because it's not just a wrestling game. In fact, it's an MMA match in a 12-sided cage. That's right, so you've got uh, UFC, Pride style fun here, you got MMA in here as well. So if you're not just a fan, you know, and you're, a, and you're an MMA guy, you got your UFC, you're well at home with this game as well. Now, so we are going to select normal match and have a look at uh, some of the characters that I've, uh, I've downloaded. So, I think I was having this match a little bit earlier. Uh, Chris Daniels versus Rocky Maivia. So, let's see what the roster is like. So, you can create... Let's take a step back there. Do apologize. Let's take a slight step back there. So, by default, the first roster that is available in the game is SWA, of course, Spike Wrestling Alliance, of course, Spike being the company that made the game. 
So they have a number of characters that are fictional wrestlers that are kind of based on real guys. You can see uh, this guy here, Red Dragon the Strongest, looks a bit like Kenta. Uh, Max Bentron here looks a lot like Kurt Angle. Bobby Bobby, who I think is bears a more impassive resemblance to Sabu, and so on. So there's guys here you can look at and go, I knew who that is. Uh, so it allows them to take a bit of creative freedom in what they create and what they do. But of course, the edit mode allows you to create whoever you want and download whoever you want. So, if you want to get on, if you want, to, if you get the game, and you want to play these guys, are going to be available straight away. And you can rename them and re-customize them however you like and see fit. However, you want to start downloading living guys as well. Um, so I have created uh, the rosters of Ring of Honor, WWE, Impact Wrestling, AAA, Lucha Underground, New Japan, as independent guys as well because I live in the UK. Big fan of uh, what we're putting out over here. So let's have a look at my Ring of Honor roster. Uh, Get down the fair amount of guys here, uh, and of course my customised Cody Rhodes sits down just there. Not quite as uh, quick and responsive as I'd like when I press the button. Press it and then it moves. Feels a little weird. Oh, of course, um, if you create a, a roster, you can then create factions within the roster as well. So if I create a WWE roster, which I have here, um, here you can select different factions, so if you wanted to make, I don't know, the shield, uh, and you then toggle between it and just show the three guys who was in it and so on, or you can make them and customise them as you see fit. Um, let's have a look at some uh, guys that I've downloaded, some of the fan creations out there. Is that Marty Scroll? He's not in WWE, he's in he's in Ring of Honor, he's a UK guy, what the hell is he doing here? Some of the Bullet Club, gotta change that. Let's choose uh, the broken one, Matt Hardy. And uh, yeah, why not? Why not go against the right one? Why not? So again, you can have like four on four match here. So you can, obviously you can choose another guy if you wanted to. You can have a second, such as a manager, and uh, or another wrestler. I don't want either of those. So you can go four on four as a as a tag match. You can have it as a non-title, or you can have it for a title if you create one, or if you uh, you go through the game and uh, achieve titles, you can have them and compete for them here. Uh, the rings. Now I've created Raw, SmackDown, NXT, Ring of Honor, New Japan uh, to their closest simile, effectively, but we're going to stick with SWA. Uh, venue, we have uh, the big garden arena, of course Madison Square Garden. Uh, the European Hall, or what's it called? The Vatican Hall in Tokyo. And the dojo, of course, is a kind of a backdoor job with multiple rings, looks like a gym. So let's just go with big garden arena. Referee. Uh, I think by default it's Mr. Judgment. I'm a British guy. Um, Chris Roberts, of course, legendary British referee. And uh, settings. So in settings, what do we have? So win conditions. So do you want to go to a two count? Give up, so it's a submission match effectively. Um, pin four only, or three count. Over the top rope. Do you want that to happen or not? Uh, time limit. How many matches? Computer level. How hard do you want them to be? I like them on level six. I, I like them to be yeah, quite aggressive at the same time. Now, having tried to record this one earlier, I was getting my ass handed to me when I was recording. So I'm going to put the computer level to quite dummy level, just so I can kind of show off how, how the game plays and have a walk around and so on. Game speed. Now, sure you can put the game speed up to 800% of its standard speed, which is insane and ludicrous, which is no way you could possibly play on, but it's there and it's a lot of fun. Elimination. Uh, so you want to have an elimination tag, so you want to go four on four. You want to have the Bullet Club versus um, Chaos? You can do it. You have an elimination match. Lumberjack. Uh, so you can throw them over the top rope and obviously have them beat on them and then throw them back in. Tornado style. So you got all members go uh, at the same time. DQ. Uh, cut play. Uh, critical. This is where um, Fire Pro stands a little bit higher than most games. It has critical. So finishing moves and high impact damage moves. Literally, you can KO an opponent instantly. I've pulled these off literally within 20 seconds of a match dying. And they really add some uh, kind of fun to the match. And other times they just won't happen. You come on, I hit this guy with 20 angle slams, he still isn't critical. But that's where part of the fun of Fire Pro Wrestling lies. So let's just uh, hint entry and let's just go and have a quick bout. Like I said, Rocky is on kind of target level difficulty, so I can have a bit of time around a bit. Matt Hardy would not be happy. Chris, let's go. Let's go look outside. Let's start. Got the super high resolution crowd out there. Oh, rather unique. Two. Three. Four. 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 Four.
Fumble all the way around, but there's like a snap table and so on down here. Seven. Eight. Match it up. Nine. But yeah, quite nice because of course the WWE game, uh, that crowd is kind of limited. Three. Okay, so barbed wire match. You know you want to have a look at it and see what it is. Barbed wire death match. So who are we going to have? Now, here's a, here's a criticism, right? The game really doesn't want you to play it. And what I mean by that is the game by default on all the menus likes it to be CP versus CP. You've got to change that manually. Even when it comes to online. The default option for all matches is the kind of the computer versus itself, which I guess it's almost like watching a sim match, which is great, really. but you know, that's not always what you want to do. So let's just try a, uh, let's go a bit extreme, let's go Terry Funk. Against... Uh, Abyss, Abyss from Impact Wrestling, yeah, GFW, whatever it's called nowadays. No, so we, we could actually, like I said, I, I had to put this into one player mode. Nope. There we are. One play. What are the options here for this match? Settings. So in the corner, I'm aware that in the earlier versions you could change... How many weapons do I have? We have eight weapons because we can. Explosion countdown! That's right, it's an electric time bomb match. So let's just put that say, down to ten minutes. How many matches do we want? Now, so what I was explaining is that um, in, in the earlier games, so such as Fire Pro Wrestling Returns and Fire Pro Wrestling D on the Dreamcast. In the um, in the barbed wire match, you could change the corners to have fluorescent light tubes as opposed to uh, barbed wire boards. And uh, that option appears to be missing for Fire Pro World. Maybe I'll ha maybe I haven't found it, but by default, it doesn't appear to be there. Yeah, I can only imagine uh, how a bit Terry Pong would actually go out of this. A cheap pop there, not a great pop, but a cheap pop. Okay. Uh, okay. Fine. Fair enough. That match was uh, bad, but you know it was over. It was quick. It was done. Hey, it's kind of good, really, because I can move on to show you other things. So we're going to jump onto the online side of things now, and uh, let's have a look what's going on right there. Online play. So here's where I have some frustrations. Okay, and I'd like to show you with you why. Quick match, of course, will match match make you with anyone. Uh, custom match allows you to search by criteria, um, and then create a room. Of course, it just allows you to create a room yourself, and obviously set the criteria up. So let's go to custom match. By default, anything goes right. If you were to search that, let's well, obviously it's the matches obviously that people have set up. By default, it's the computer. Is the is the uh, the general go-to de facto option. If you just search online, even if you go to create a room, by default, it's not you playing. And it can actually it can have you a bit confused. It's about to have a match, and all of a sudden the game starts moving by itself. By default, the game is set up 
that you watch and simulate matches as opposed to you playing matches. You have to choose it to go to play yourself. By default, it's the computer. Very weird, very strange. Make sure you turn it on if you want to actually play the game as opposed to watching and simming a match. That is the same for custom here. You've actually got to go into here to change it to player before you start searching. See so now there's more there's now less options because everyone created it with the um, anything goes options. Which okay, there's still a slow one. Okay. So yeah, very strange. So and the creator room, okay, so you can name the room. So if I wanted to have a lucha match, I can kind of announce it straight away and everyone else who is uh, looking for a match can see that and they go oh, okay I'll choose a lucha character. How many participants? By default two. We can go up to four however this is where it goes into a little bit strange functions. So if you want to play four player online you can't play it. You can only have computer match because if you choose player it defaults it to two but you can't have any other option. So by CPU, yes, you can have a four-player, or a three-player, or a two-player match, but you can't if you want to play it yourself. That's just one-on-one. -on -one. That right now isn't very good. How do you want to play it? Do you want to play pro wrestling or cement? What is cement match? Well, I'm not quite sure. What modes? What modes can you play online? Unfortunately, you can only play single matches. <coughs> However. If you were to play it into CPU mode, so the uh, you sim the match, there is other options. So let's go to before, tag, battle royale. But again, they're not for you to play, they're for you to watch. Yeah, I ain't liking that. So, I can watch a landmine deathmatch, but if I wanted to play one, that's different. That is certainly my bugbear with this game at the present time. I don't like that option. So let's go to edit mode then. So I was looking at uh, Creator Wrestler. I've created uh, Kelly Rhodes as I said earlier. Um, we can have a look at him. Referee edit. I can create a referee from scratch if I wanted to. I can then play with their logic if I like this. I wanted a bit of a heel referee. I could do that. Boy, a fan favorite referee who might count a bit quicker for the good guys. The options are in there as well. Uh, workshop, though, is where this game uh, certainly excels. View workshop, publish item, anything you've made, you can publish onto the, the workshop, or you can view from here. So here we go. Let's have a look around. Let's have a look around here. So this opens up my Steam. This opens up the. Uh, The workshop so and of course as I said yesterday there's about 3,000 yesterday can't imagine how many there is today 192 pages of 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 30 40 15 16 18 19 20 30 the 30 characters per screen there's 192 pages at the moment that's bound to increase so Okay, so I want it. I haven't got this character here. I do not have Ivelisse from Lucha Underground. If I wanted to download her, I literally would click on her. That's actually what she looks like in real life, and uh, what she looks like in terms of her character in game. And all I want to do, if I wanted to download this person, is get, show this person a bit of love. Click subscribe, and that person has now downloaded to uh, my game. And the file sizes are so small, like 0.0. .0 one seven meg. That appears to be the general size of uh, the game files themselves. Let's go to that workshop again and uh, have a look for another character. Oh, look, there's uh, Chris Jericho there. Let's have a look around. If I want to search a character, oh no, if I wanted to search for. Kevin Owens, let's go Kevin Owens actually. Let's go search this I don't have Kevin Owens as yet. Uh, again, it's 0 0.017 meg, extremely small. Fonts to download him. And that's it. It's already there. So, I mean, however, you have you have to reset the game in order for the game to detect the fact that the character is available. Uh, small bug bear is supposed to instantly I mean instantly available.
But you know what? That's absolutely fine. The game just has to restart, and it just it does a kind of a library check of the characters and stuff you've downloaded. That's pretty awesome. Let's come out of that. So that's the workshop. So, is it good? Is it fun? Am I enjoying it? Yes. Uh, online, I've certainly uh, had my fair selection of wins. As you can see, I've got a 98% uh, win ratio, and I do enjoy uh, my matches on here. Uh, edit mode, a lot to be done. Offline play, a lot to be doing. Yeah, i got to get, uh, get, get around to actually playing these a bit more. And uh, express and find out what there is. So, would I recommend Fire Pro Wrestling World in its current state? Hell yes. Is there more to come? I really hope so, because the game is missing some fundamental game modes. So, for instance, it doesn't have like a table match. Uh, it doesn't have a ladder match, which surely shouldn't take too hard to implement, really. I do think with fan feedback, which the game developers are looking for, uh, an implementation of a uh, future mode. It appears to be some things that are bound to come out in conversation, and uh, hopefully they'll be to be implemented. This is me, Christian Lander, signing off. So, final thoughts, really. So, final thoughts going into this game. Should you buy this game? If you're a wrestling fan, yes. If you're a, if you're a fan of creating stuff, if you're a fan of inventive, creative matches and options, definitely, definitely buy this game. Go and explore those uh, workshops as well. You know, get about making your own, obviously, face paints, characters, uh, leggings, trousers, tops, tattoos and stuff. Lots of stuff going on there um, to make a really diverse roster of characters. Um, and obviously, from all different promotions, of course, characters you've created from scratch. So, if you're a wrestling fan, you're going to love that. If you're a gamer, yes, there's a lot here. Limited options in terms of its online play, don't like. Um, I do think that hopefully they're going to fix those things soon. Because, you know, what you really want is a four-player online, like out of Battle Royal. Surprising that isn't in the game so far, but I guess this is their first time trying online play. I get that it's early days. Let's see where that goes. Hopefully, that will be implemented very soon. As an overall package, yes, presentation's good, sounds good. Um, modes available, yes, there's a lot going on for this game. $14.99 also is a great price. I mean, I paid £60, uh, pounds, that is, for Fire Pro Wrestling Returns. Like I said, I had to actually, uh, in terms of the UK where I lived, I had to import mine from Italy um, because it was the only PAL region version available. Quite a way the company translated it, but it's based in the UK. Um, didn't release it here at oh, the height of pro wrestling hype. Very stupid. But I guess it's one of those things. I, mean, I paid £60 for this. I paid £14.99 for this. I think it's good value. There's a lot to have here. However, is it sufficiently different from the last game? No, it's not. Apart from online. And it is much higher resolution. Because that was a PS2 game. If you had a PS3, you could play it on a, on a higher resolution. This is much crisper, much sharper. That's good. But, but it's not sufficiently different enough as yet. Um... Is it try before you buy it? No, just go out and buy it. This is fourteen ninety nine. You're gonna buy it, you're gonna love it. Uh, enjoy it. So this is me, Christian Lander, signing off on what is my introduction to Fire Pro Wrestling World for you, and I'll see you next time.